Hello internet and welcome to ACD Camping, the home of woodland shenanigans on its shoestring budget. I'm ACD and in this video I would like to introduce a new playlist. Camping adjacent lifestyles or items that you may want to consider think, taking tips from when planning a trip outdoors. I would like to introduce to you now the prepared community, sometimes referred to as preppers or survivalists. They range in scope from someone who has a few extra tins and dry goods stashed away in case of job loss or having to shelter in place, like the lockdowns of 2020, or beyond to those who have hunkered down in a compound at a secret location, quietly stockpiling several years of food, ammunition and medication in preparation for governmental collapse when the bombs drop or the zombies arrive. Think Bert Gummer from the movie franchise Tremors. Survivalism emphasises self-reliance, stockpiling supplies and gaining skills and knowledge. Self-reliance was highlighted in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, a Category 5 hurricane that hit the city of New Orleans and surrounding areas, taking with it an estimated 1,392 lives and causing an approximately $145.5 billion in damage. The response by federal authorities was very badly and poorly received. This led to the resignation of Federal Emergency Management Agency Director Michael D. Brown and of the Superintendent of New Orleans Police, Eddie Compass. It's this distrust in authorities. FEMA, along with the World Health Organization post-COVID, are two of the arch nemesis of the prepared community, by the way. It's the proof they claim in the aftermath of Katrina that lead preppers to want to stockpile the meds, the food and the ammo. Stockpiling itself ranges from tin goods to a bug out bag, or B.O.B. for sure. This in itself is separated further in, with uh, what's in your pockets, or as they know it, the everyday carry, or EDC for short, all the way to the inch bag, or I'm never coming home bag. Usually the B.O.B. and inch are based upon David Canterbury's 10 C's of survival, Although in America and other countries with public access to firearms, their, bag, their bags may have anything up to and including assault rifles, such as the AR-15 and AK-47. But in the UK, we don't have a right to bear arms or Second Amendment. Post Dunblane and the Hungerford massacres, campaigners using the media created a conscious effort for the government at the time to limit or ban the possession of firearms in the UK. Even more draconian laws were brought in to face head on the risks of low fire terrorist attacks and gang crime when it came to knives. So where exactly does that leave the average English prepper and what can they put in their B.O.B.? Legally speaking, a UK B.O.B. bag would consist of a non-locking cutting tool of no more than three inches in length, a sleeping and or bivy bag, a plastic sheet for water collection, a tent or tarp, a first aid kit, essential medication for pre-existing conditions, hygiene kits and toiletries, and feminine products, torches, means to cook and eat, a signal mirror, a folding shovel, cordage, maps of the local area, and your personal ID. Also, you need to pack three days of food and water. A bug out bag is to be used when a shelter in place order or lockdown is no longer a viable option and you are left with no other option than to become a refugee in your own country. It's designed to sustain a person for 72 hours. The three days that emergency response or disaster aftermath legislation is fully enforced. As you could potentially be moving a great distance on foot, your bug out bag needs to be light but contain all the kit you and your family members could need. A good rule of thumb is to keep it within 10 to 15% of your total body weight. For an adult, that could mean the whole kit. A child, their medication, a collapsible water bottle, a few clothes and something to keep them distracted from the potential chaos. Such as one of those small magnetic board games that fold up small and can easily fit in a side pocket. Should you have an interest in jumping down the prepper rabbit hole, as I did after my own SHTF experience in March 2018, during the Beast from the East, where I lost 70% of my possessions and a lack of duty of care from the housing association I was renting from at the time, 
you will probably come across a lot of bizarre looking acronyms. Here are just a few. ALICE, All Purpose Lightweight cam Carrying Equipment, the mil military equivalent of a frame pack. BOL, Bug Out Location, your pre designated destination, safe away from riots, looters, and anarchy. CBRN, Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear. They're the unconventional additions to weaponry. CME, Coronal Mass Injection, or a solar flare. EOTW, End of the World. Think Cormac McCarthy's The Road. EMP, Electromagnetic Pulse Caused by Either a Nuclear Bomb or a CME. Good Bag, Get Out of Dodge Bag. A bug out bag designed to accommodate urban areas. Molly. Modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment. The replacement to the Alice pack. Opsec. Operational security. Loose lips sink ships. SHTF. When the poo hits the fan. The initial incident. Think pangolins and wet markets. Yo yo. You are on your own. Law enforcement and military. Abandoned post going to be with their own families. I hope that you found this video informative. If so, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends and family. During the lockdowns of 2020, during the COVID outbreak, we came very close to going to be up far beyond SHTF and into a WROL situation without the rule of law. Protesters around the world declaring masks and vaccines to be forms of control and manipulation. Scientists in the UK at this very moment are busy working on procedures for disease X, the yet as unknown next pandemic. Who knows what that could be? Maybe you'll find yourself becoming the real life Daryl Dixon, battling hordes of the undead. Till next time, keep your head on a swivel. I'm ACD and this is ACD Camping, the home of woodland shenanigans on a shoestring budget. Peace.